How's it going guys? So today I'm just going to make a very quick walkthrough on how to connect to a instance of MySQL running on a VPS using MySQL Workbench. So all you'll need is MySQL Workbench installed on your computer and a VPS running uh, MySQL. I'll be using PuTTY to log into my VPS. I'm running a DigitalOcean droplet and it has Ubuntu 18.04 as the OS. Great, so now that we're logged in, the first thing we're going to have to do is just start up MySQL. Now that we're logged in as the Unix user, what we're going to need to do is create a sudo admin account that'll allow us to log in through MySQL Workbench. Okay, all this command is going to do is it's going to create a new user for us called YouTube at localhost and it's going to give it the password, password. Great, MySQL accepts the query and we're all set with that user. But the next thing we need to do is just make sure that this is all permissions for the server since it's going to be essentially our admin user. Great, all that command does is it gives all permissions everywhere to our new YouTube account. Okay, and with that, our sudo admin account should be all set up so we can switch over to MySQL Workbench and begin logging in. Go ahead and hit the plus sign next to MySQL Connections. We're gonna go ahead and switch this to standard TCP IP over SSH. Go ahead and change your SSH host name to your uh, VPS IP. Also make sure to give it a connection name. Here you're going to do the username that you usually log into your, uh, into your VPS with over PuTTY. You're going to want to leave this as local and you're going to want to leave this port standard. These, this is what uh, MySQL should be listening to if it was just installed with the standard settings. And the username, we're going to do YouTube since that was the uh, user that I created. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and test the connection. So for this password, you're going to want to enter the password that you use to log into your VPS as the root user. And for this password, you're going to want to use whatever the password is that you set up with your sudo admin account. And in this case, it's just password. And there we go. We've successfully made our connection. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Hit OK here. And then we should be able to just connect just like we just did. I already messed up my password. Great. All right, so we're all set. And that's how easy it is. It can be a little bit confusing setting up the sudo admin account. But once it's all set and everything's figured out, it really isn't too bad. Thanks for watching.